Hi everyone, today we're going to look at how to create clipping masks in Photoshop. It is a very easy process and you can use this in typography to create cool new frames for your images and many other things. So let's get started. Firstly open the image which we're going to use to create the clipping mask. It is placed in the background layer by default which is locked and you won't be able to make any changes to it. Click on the lock symbol and this background layer will be converted to layer 0. To create a clipping mask, you need multiple layers. So let's click on the new layer symbol on the bottom menu and create a new layer. We bring layer 1 below the layer 0 by holding and dragging it down. To create a clipping mask, you can simply go to the layer menu and select the option Create Clipping Mask with the shortcut Alt, Ctrl and G. But before we select this option, we go to our layer 1 and we use selection tool to make the selection in any shape we want. You can use any of the handy selection tools available in Photoshop. We will go with the simplest rectangular marquee tool first. Make sure layer 1 is selected and the layer menu and make a selection over the image. Go to the edit menu and select fill. You can fill your selection with any color or pattern. To see the selection, you can hide the visibility of layer 0. This portion right here will form our mask. To unselect the region, go to the select panel and click on deselect. Now for the real part, select layer 0, go to the layer menu and click on the create clipping mask. And there you go, you have created a simple clipping mask. To move the image inside the mask, you can use the move tool until you're satisfied with how your image appears. Now let's take a look at what you can use a clipping mask for. You can use clipping mask to create cool designs with images. Following the same process as before, open the image and convert it into layer 0. Then add another layer and place the image which we are going to use as a background. Resize it to match the size of the canvas. Add another layer and make a selection on it. Fill it with any color and deselect it. Create a clipping mask on image layer. Move the image around until you're satisfied and that's it. To take a clipping mask a step further, you can use lasso or magnetic lasso tool to select the region. This will let you closely select around the boundary of the image. This requires some practice and a good grip on the mouse, but once you master it, you would be able to make some amazing designs with clipping mask. You can even use the shape tool available in Photoshop to create a clipping mask in any shape and style you want. Shapes can be used to make some great designs with clipping masks. Another fun thing to do with the clipping mask is to make cool typography patterns in Photoshop. Let's type some text over our image and place it into the position. Next, we bring this text layer below the image layer. Select layer 0 and click on create a clipping mask and there you go, you have created typography. If you want to take it further, you can add another layer with the background and place this text over it. There's much more you can do with clipping masks in Photoshop, so keep practicing 